हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन स्टडी फॉर यू वन स्टेप सॉल्यूशन फॉर ऑल योर प्लेसमेंट नीड्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट टीसीएस निंजा इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ सम ऑफ आवर स्टूडेंट हु गिव देयर इंटरव्यू यस्टरडे यस यस्टरडे एज यू नो दैट इंटरव्यूज हैज स्टार्टेड इन फ्यू कॉलेज एंड सम ऑफ आवर स्टूडेंट हैड देयर इंटरव्यू यस्टरडे सो out of those uh, several experience we have taken here two experience which we found will be very good for you as well for preparing well so we have included two experience here first from a student from cs right cs the cs branch and another from student who is not from cs or it branch so that you can uh, those uh, all those students also which are not from cs it can understand well so apart from that i'll be also discussing about online study for use interview solution package because we are not only creating problem here we are not sharing the problems but the solution also right so these are interview experience of just yesterday that is 10th november today is 11th so students without wasting much time let's move ahead so here is we can see uh, what i have done that uh, the I means similarly how uh, the student shared the, his experience with us we have just copied it here so that you can more uh, means more comfortably relate that how he or she has shared the details so that you can relate it better way because it is in the same language of how you uh, students talk like so we have just copied it in most of the part so uh, it, we are talking about experience one of uh, the cs student technical round started so since uh, he or she mentioned her interest as python okay so questions related to those were asked basic and advanced level both right so here what we can see let me just take the highlighter here um just a second yeah so here you can see that uh, the interest was showed in python so student in tcs your interview will revolve around two things only your project and your favorite programming language if you are deliberately writing extra things like i have this and this certificates i have done this and this course and you are not known about it right you are writing about like you are writing about certificates or some webinars you have attended in iit or somewhere right but actually if you are not known about it then you are getting into fix because they are not asking in very detail if you have written subject of interest or those things tcs don't is not going to go in that deep they'll be asking their major part of the interview will revolve around your programming language right then your project and then if you have mentioned any these uh, which i have just mentioned here certificates or this uh, webinars or in iit or somewhere if you have mentioned like those things so if you have not not much known about those things please don't mention since mentioning programming language and project is means this is basic thing you have to mandatory please include those don't don't include those things right so this to the students basic and advanced level both questions were asked the basic questions from python could be related to data structures like uh, some of them could be from uh, like just mention some of here like from list right or what is difference between list and tuple then uh, like uh, yes data structure in python how different it is from other language right and then the questions could be also like is it is written advanced level so questions could be also from the oops how oops is implemented in python right and uh, other than that uh, they, they could ask that what is the difference between c and python what why you like most so actually we are not having the exact means not all questions in next slide we have some of question not exact but i am telling you here what what are the other questions also which are expected right if you have written python or some language then these kind of questions are possible now let's move to our next slide so that we can let you know that what were the exact questions were here okay so first they asked you to rate myself this is common question they asked several times what i will suggest you that suppose if you have written two or three good things about yourself that you have mentioned two or three expertise in your project then please mark them in two or three ways like uh, it is i i believe that it is obvious that in uh, one you are uh, like very good and in other you are good so when they ask about rate my uh, rate yourself in those so please rate yourself as 9 in the very good one and 8 as one how you can speak because when you when you are asked to rate my uh, rate yourself you will say 8 or 
they they will not ask you they will not say that uh, why so or why like right you have to yourself when just you say this number 9 or 8 you have to just after this you have to add one line means with the reason that why you are ranking yourself this way so suppose you have written python in dbms so how you can say sir in python i rate myself as 9 because i have done some like uh, i have done some projects so i have some like i have some hands on hands on experience as well that's why i will rate myself as 9 here and in dbms i will rate myself 8 because although i am known uh, about uh, all the concepts but i have not have much experience i have not done much projects on this so i still require it so that's why i will rate myself 8 as here so this is completely fine no problem then the questions were asked from functions so i don't think uh, you have to anything required to explain function this is simple if you are known about c also then you can explain about what the functions then if you have written python the two most common questions which you will be asked two or three and which are asked here also lambda and this generator lambda and generator functions generator if you have read about it uh, gen, uh, generator are uh, like uh, means uh, if you compare it with uh, any other thing because generator returns an object always right so suppose if you create a list or something so if your uh, why generator is used when you are working with something very large right uh, means data is very large then you use generator because not all the data is created at once not all memory is utilized but object is created and then because object is created so not all memory space is occupied so when required then only memory space is occupied then in lambda also lambda is you can call as a special kind of function which does not have any return value because it is just a one line and it is expressed in one line only right so you can uh, learn more about it then memory management in python because things are different here so you can tell about here also here uh, id function is used to check where the data is stored where is the memory location then program to delete files in a directory so i believe that this is very means orthodox questions why it is asked because it is not related i think it was only asked because uh, he or she must have uh, like uh, successfully answered these all correctly because these are not too difficult because if you are known about that these are common things lambda generator then it is easy otherwise it would be difficult because lambda and generator are not common things in python but these are important with interview point of view okay so it might be possible that he or she must have answered very well that's why uh, means a sudden uh, a different kind of question asked so these kind of things must uh, might happen uh, what i will say that if they are asking six questions you are answering 3.5 or 4 correctly it's completely okay no problem okay then then they came to project so as i told you that all the interview will revolve around two or three things your favorite programming language the project you have done what you have done and if you have done some certificates uh, or these things like heavy things right so in project uh, what he has written in there a healthy discussion on machine learning in d because i mentioned this in my project so here what you can see that suppose you are mentioning your project that's okay what most of students do the two most common uh, uh, means errors are they mention themselves as team leader first error they mention themselves as team leader second they mention means although they have not worked or even they have worked but they means like most of that yes i have done ai ml or something like that and if you are not knowing about it you are going into fix because if you are saying ml then expect that they will uh, means uh, minimum they will ask you about what is supervised right supervised and supervised and reinforced learning then cnn knn okay so these things are expected these basic things if you are not able to reply but here you can see that there was a deep discussion that might be possible because the interviewer is also interested in machine language or known about it okay so since this person was known about that how he has used machine language uh, machine learning in this in his project so that's why he fared well then basic question from deep learning also asked so again the same reason he or she must have answered very well here so again something other uh, something from latest technology other thing asked because they won't be like uh, going you all the way right so he uh, asked something from other thing deep learning also so what i will suggest you that please prepare few latest technologies even though you have not used it in your project used or not i am telling you here some of uh, like latest technologies which you must know means just basics you can uh, uh, learn about the basics anywhere in any website in only 5 to 10 minutes machine learning 
about uh, only you have to learn about what are the types of machine learning supervised unsupervised reinforced and what is cnn knn then uh, you must know about this deep learning this is common questions okay then neural network and similarly when i am talking about neural network means yes cnn also right and cloud cloud and big data okay so i will suggest you that you must learn about these things now what are the things you must learn about uh, in these just basic what is the definition means what they mean okay if uh, and uh, yes then advantage and practical uses like if you are learning about big data then you must know what actually big data is then advantage you can say that uh, it is used with when there, there is in real world problem now since there are more we are growing te growing technically very faster <coughs> so there are lots of data so for that for analyzing those data for keeping it in optimum manner big data is required practical uses there is one practical uh, uh, applications i remember is that in america in few years ago there, there was a hurry there was a hurricane like uh, a strong storm which was coming to beach but uh, coming to an island uh, city in, okay so what happened it, with the help of big data the all these tough data they were able to analyze and the hurricane was predicted three or four days ago when it actually landed right so it saved lots of life so these kind of means these are basic things you can read only once and you, you will remember it forever so definition advantage practical application real life application where they are being used if you're learning about machine learning you can say in in medical uh, means doctors are being used to analyze uh, some problems in cancer or some other uh, serious problems right or you can relate it with coronavirus also that how the things uh, work how the vaccines are being made so not there is nothing any difficult in this then uh, okay let's move forward i think i've taken much time here okay so now here it's around okay so uh, what he is saying that this was even difficult although most of students you are seeing this video have found technical round as difficult if they are not known about those things which were asked to this student okay but it's possible that you have written java then obvious how you are knowing about those uh, questions but then just read here what he or she has written that this was even difficult than technical why it was you are uh, going to know in the very next slide it comprises of lots of situational and behavioral questions students what i want to tell you in the previous video my previous video which i think uh, which was uploaded even before the interview started i mentioned that since there are lots of students who are qualified this times right the qualification rate is very high but they have their number like 10000 or something that they have to intake so that's why the process is going to be very rigorous okay and in technical means although they can ask anything but since all the another thing is also they are taking interview for only 3.6 lpa profile like if talking about ninja it is going right now so what 3.6 lpa there they can't go in very deep like they can't be like asking very deep about ml or something or they can't be talking about very deep in any programming language python java or c so although means if you are well prepared if you are even means good uh, preparation is good not even very good you can ace in the technical round but in hr round you have no idea because questions are not like bookish so here the passing percentage is going to be very difficult because hr know that they have their number and students are very much cheating has been done you all know that in telegram several groups this thing has been done so that's why this process is going to be very rigorous hr round what questions were asked let me just uh, let us have a look so firstly it was asked are you introvert or extrovert most of you will say extrovert no problem okay because in uh, when you will be working there as a team also so if you are introvert you will you will not be more social you won't be like sharing your problems and it would be problem so okay if you are extrovert but again then second question will come that how in what manner you are extrovert or extrovert being extrovert sometimes also creates problems so these things can only you can answer if you are sitting there with fresh mind have a good sleep sound sleep be fresh mind okay because there will be several questions which you can't prepare if you are not known about it already that what kind of questions in difficult hr questions which are asked if you are not known about it then you are getting into trouble then what will be your reason to leave the company 
I don't think that uh, ninety percent of students does not have the correct answer to this question. Then why you are the best candidate? Most of say that I am good. I don't think I am best, but sir, I am good. I am very good, but maybe I am not best. See, you have to show yourself as best. The questions could will be asked like why should I hire you? Why you are the best candidate? You have to show yourself as best, not good or very good. Remember this. Then what would you do if your team member is not contributing and being reckless? Now here. some students will say that i i will directly complain some will say i will remove you from my team if i am team lead but the optimum answer is something different right so don't worry because here we have the solution so here is the solution from online study for you the interview solution what we are providing is interview specific material all subjects and branch specific material is included in that material right and along with it interview experience of our previous year students is also included other than that we have also included the interview experience of code vita uh, uh, experienced student of this year also right then we are also conducting mock interviews tr and hr both that is uh, uh, technical and uh, hr both interviews where means uh, it will also consisting of uh, this mr interview as well which is something new which tcs is conducting this time so these will be the live interviews Uh, the separate technical one and then hr and mr and along with it uh, at the end we'll be sharing you the feedback as well that uh, where are the things that you are performing good and which are the subjects or the things where you need to improve also we'll be providing a special guidance to crack thesis nqt in this package in this solution and it also includes resume correction which means that if there are uh, some errors in your resume or uh, if uh, means if you are in doubt that if you have uh, the the format of your resume is right if you have included some unnecessary things or if you have not uh, included some necessary things so those all correction will be also included in this package so the price is only rupees 399 the registration link in instagram bio so you can check there you can click on the link and then you can opt for you can register so uh, but uh, we are very sorry that uh, we uh, we are starting it for the first time and only for first 100 registrations this is valid like we will be taking only 100 students this time so only price rupees 399 and interview specific material then mock interviews special guidance to tcs nqt cracking and resume correction as well included so you can check the registration link in bio so how to register you can see here let me just take uh, the highlighter Okay, so we ha we have the highlighter here. So uh, what you have to do, you have to on Instagram search for online study for you dot placement. You will get this in search result at the top, and here you can say our channel. There are more than eleven hundred followers now uh, currently, and here you will get the link through which you can register for this package. Okay, so now coming to the technical round of this second person oh, who is from non CSIT background. Okay, I think this is from electronics. This uh, this one is from electronics. We will get to know because uh, I think this is discussed in the next slide. This is, this one is from electronics. I think so. At first, I was asked to introduce myself and tell my favorite programming language. This is similarly to the previous one, although it is from non CSIT. But these things are means similar because they are see they have only uh, means. thesis will hire you if you have at least basic about programming language it means only aptitude is not going to work even you are from mechanical or civil okay so what he did that i did so and told c because he is from non csit then it's obvious that he is will knowing about c only but it is good no problem even if you are from csit and you are knowing only c language no problem good because c language is still in top 5 languages in the world okay so i did so and told c as my favorite programming language okay let's see what happened then then i was asked to tell about classes and objects in c now you can see here that in c language classes and objects is not there because c is not an object oriented programming language c++ is an oops language okay java is python is right java but c language is not so it was like just asked to check if it's knowing about it or not because what student will do means their focus will only suddenly go to class and object if they read about oops and they start it they will start telling about what is class what is object but they will not understand it he is saying that what a class and object in c which is actually not possible because c is, does not support object oriented programming concept 
right so this was a tricky one which he which was the very first question then then asked me to explain everything about my project in detail basic things which i have told you your programming language your project and any certification special certifications or some heavy thing you have included in c these things only i don't think that they are going to include your subject of interest or etc then then some basic c questions because he mentioned c uh, you can see here there were not much questions from his uh, project because he is not mentioned here also so i don't think he means if he just clearly explained project that's why because interviewer is uh, means most probably from csit background only so if the project is more about the uh, including electronics branch uh, things so he is not known about he's, he can't say much but he will still uh, ask about project to understand it how complex the project is right or uh, how hard it is what is your role right so what you should do that if you are from csit then it's okay but if you are from non csit you must explain it in very detail because so that even if your project is very basic but still it should create an impact that there are lots of things being done in your project okay use some important terms don't use slang language use important terms because for creating just a good impact because most probably the the person sitting at other side not understanding actually those all concepts because he will be probably from csit okay then some basic c questions because the person is from non csit then basic questions i tell about data types what are loops a special case when do while is used uh, do you know what is the special case the special case is when it is required to uh when is required that the loop will run at least once whenever the requirement is that loop run at least once irrespective of the condition then we use do while loop okay then my question for you student is when should we use for loop and when should we use while loop please comment down do you know the answer if you don't know please ask me because this could be a question but this is a question i'll tell you in i'll pin the answer but firstly you have to answer the what is the difference between for and while loop if you are known about it okay then then shift it to my core electronics this thing will happen so and ask questions from every major subject so what will happen that although he he might go it's not uh, always happen that from every major subject it is very means uncertain that it will happen but although if questions are asked from every major subject but question will be from very means from top like not in deep because the person is not knowing the, the subject in deep so what i will suggest you because that interviewer will do two things right first thing that he must be remembering uh, the electronics some of the points which he read in his btech right so he will ask those things so please cover important topics important things you just sit and try to uh, try to remember it what were the important things which you can remember if firstly prepare those things secondly after this please uh, uh, check on uh, like on google like interview questions on your uh, branch that is electronic or civil mechanical whatever because this also is done by many interviewers that they turn, they this google that interview questions from electronics branch and they ask about top 10 20 questions which they see so please prepare this way also because this thing can also happen because only these two things are happen if he must be remembering something from electronics uh, or your branch otherwise he'll search it on google and then he will ask some questions then hrm around they ask only about tcs you must be thinking only about tcs it's okay but now i'm going to show you that what about tcs they asked and then the things will get complex so firstly they ask public limited or private limited okay no one will think that this question will be asked in hr round then why public limited what is a multinational company this is a basic thing but means how you are replying this is uh, the question where is tcs headquarters where all uh, tcs have its branches where are the branches see uh, suppose that you are known about this answer that uh, where are the branches are suppose because, because branches are at many places you can say 50 100 200 this will be the number right or more than it even but we are all have its branches when this question happens so what you have to do you have to tell only four to five points four to five places and then you can say that there are total this much branches or you can say four to five and you can say etc that will work no problem 
so it's it won't be like you are saying all the numbers if you are even if you are remembering 10 or 15 don't be like that you are started saying 10 or 15 names okay and then is there tcs in your city and have you visited tcs so in most of the students won't be having a tcs office in their city and have you visited tcs so it, it would be probably the answer would be no so okay then the feedback what the feedback he got so because uh, what he told that he was unable to answer means most of the questions from this part although he was good in technical round so the feedback he got he got was he asked me to visit tcs website and said i must have knowledge about the company of which i am attending interview what i will suggest to you please go to tcs website there uh, means every company have i don't have searched myself but they will you will get uh, an a page called info or about okay please go in this section read everything what you can find then if you can't find means after this what you have to do you have to check who is the ceo right then ceo in india or uh, ceo for the tcs india and uh, yes uh, the other things could be the the branches which we already know then yes what are the latest technologies okay the latest products of tcs okay so these things you must be ready with what are the latest news about tcs tcs info about which when it started what are the total means profit is being done from starting till now or any other current news then you know, who is the ceo who is cto these things you must be knowing so that's why what i feel that uh, means this feedback does not seems very good because uh, although means things could be anyway but uh, in the way which is written it does not seems fine so i am also worried about you so as discussed about that package uh, i believe that uh, uh, i believe that you will register for it because it's very necessary because after uh, uh, getting to know about the interview experience of the uh, of some of uh, uh, the students we found of uh, from somewhere so it, there was experiences not very good so i hope you like this video now finally coming to over that uh, the pdf material which we have made uh, the uh, link for this website our website online study for you is in description of this channel uh, of this video so you can go through it and then coming to the premium material you will find here the pdf section right you can select pdf and you can see here that we have uploaded uh, the specific pdf material for tcs nqt examinations which consists of material as i also discussed in our package also where this is also a part of it here you can see it is for 149 rupees only and that complete package is of uh, is priced for rupees 399 only so this uh, if you take that 399 package then apart from the resume correction special attention mock interviews of uh, separately for tr and hr different uh, interviews you will be also getting this also in that package also or you can take it as separately for 149 only this is only pdf material which will be having uh, like uh, questions from all the subjects all the interview uh, with uh, uh, importing with uh, the perspective of an interview the questions which could be asked from different branches also uh, there will be uh, uh, of different subjects also then dbms operating system for electrical branch mechanical branch everything is combined here along with previous year experience of our student so here is uh, i'm ending this video hope you like this video and got so much information if you have any queries regarding how to buy that uh, how to register for that package of rupees 349 or this 149 if you are not if you are unable to register or find this please comment down or if you want some more videos like this or if you have any query please comment down and you can follow our instagram channel as well or you can send your query in our telegram channel as well so we are all available there 24 into 7 and we will help you out in best possible way so students we will meet in our next video till then keep learning